Evening to you, Sats. Hey, Bryce. Hey, guys. How are you? Mate, we really appreciate you coming on. Of course, um, Wide World Sports family, all of us here in the rugby league community have been thinking of you all all week long. I guess the, the, the one thing to, to come from the past few days since the, the news came through on Monday is, is just being able to, I guess, that, have that chance for reflection. As footy fans, it's one thing, but what has the week been like for you, mate? Well, understandably, Brace, it's 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 been difficult. Um, you know, he's been struggling for a, a few years now with with dementia, and uh, he had the stroke back in 2018, which knocked him around a little bit. Uh, but I didn't think it was you know it was going to happen when it did uh, to to go up to his um, where he was in the aged care facility on the Gold Coast and and to arrive by his bedside, and he passed away about seven minutes later after I arrived. So. Uh, it's been pretty heartbreaking, mate. We had a great relationship, Dad and I. And, um, we we're very close. And uh, to, to be honest, mate, I'm, I'm sick of crying, to be honest. So I want to I want to start celebrating how not only how great a rugby league player was and how great a leader he was, Brace, but probably more so just the effect he had on people off the field because he gave everyone his time. Um, doesn't matter what team you supported. He was a, a tremendous guy off the field. He was a great publican and just a you know, great father as well. Mate, what was it like? as a son, hearing some of the tributes that were sent to your father or spoken about uh, your father? Yeah, just, you know, Fred, to be quite honest, I learned a, a, a lot of things this week about Dad that, that even though when he did his biography a few years ago, there's still a few things that started to emerge that, um, that I didn't realise and then I uh, saw some photos that I'd never seen. I thought it's in all the photos and and for new photos that I've never seen to re-emerge, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's been really, it's been great reflecting back on, on not only him as a person, but, but as his career as well. You know, the, the, the great players that he played with, the, the great team that he played in at South Sydney and, um, and just the photos of, of him and his teammates who, you know, still, you know, there's still a few of them around and a lot of them have passed also, Fred. And just to see those photos and, and those great tributes, it just, it just reaffirmed to me that, um, yeah, he's part of a very special group of players and a great club, of course, and he's a tremendous leader as well. And, you know, he didn't start playing rugby league until he was 16 years of age, so it was a, it was a late introduction to the game and, and to find so much success and, and reflect on that and see those videos throughout the week. It's been overwhelming. Sats, your dad leaves a, a great legacy in our game. Uh, obviously, playing that grand final with a broken jaw, he was the captain of, of four premierships at the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Um, but what do you remember your father for, both on the field and, and as a father in general? Well, on the field, I suppose, when you watch him, Bill, and, and probably listening to his teammates, and, you know, Bobby's been the one. Bobby McCarthy's one of his closest friends. is the one that tells some of the great stories about him. And, and um, you know, I've, I've often commented this week when asked, you know, what do you do? what do you think about when you reflect on some of the footage that you've seen over, over the years? And it was the way that his coach Clive Churchill embraced him after the grand final wins. For some reason, Clive used to seek him out as his captain. And Clive saw something in, in him at 67, in 1967 that no one saw in him and made him captain of that South side. And, um, and Clive always found him out like a father and son. And, and yeah, what I remember him by as a, as a father and as a good mate is he's just, he's just so great to everybody. You know, growing up in pubs, and we lived in the pubs bill that we owned as well. And, and just the way that he treated people. He made people feel like the most important person in the room. And uh, he had a firm handshake. He always looked everyone in the eye. He was, he was an honest guy as well. And, um, you yeah, know, watching him as a, as a son, the way that he treated people, it, it left a really a real indelible mark on myself as well, moving forward, and, you know, to being a young adult and the way I like to try, try to treat people myself. So he left a really good legacy. He certainly has. Sats, the apple certainly doesn't fall far from the tree when it comes to you knowing you personally, mate. You're a great person. We really appreciate your time tonight. It's only fitting, too, that it's South and Manly on Saturday night and there'll be some great tributes uh, on, on behalf of, of your father and, of course, the family, too. Thanks, Sats. All the best to you and the family. Yeah, appreciate you taking the time, guys. Thank you very much.